Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a review of like or like a first impression of like a new foundation that just launched in Hong Kong. So let's see what I get in this bag. Oh, not this one. Mm, I like it, but not this one. Not you. Uh, the Dream Classic. You? Mm. Dreamy. like this meh but mm. oh who are you so this is the new born this way matte 24 hours long wear undetectable foundation apparently they only have a very limited shade range in here and the um sales there just told me that oh you look really light and you should be using porcelain like <laughs> so i don't know how to feel about this so this is a much taller bottle than the original one but they have the same fluid ounce so don't be fooled by that fooled by that Yo, it's the same kind of like a design, same kind of a bottle. So, I think what I would do today would be um, trying the foundation side by side to see how they feel and how texture and how they last for like a few hours. So, let's get on with the review. So, to prime my face, I'll be using the one and only Elf Primer, which is really really nice and take a bit to apply to both sides of my face so after priming the face um, I would give it like a few minutes to let the primer set down the instructions say wait 30 minutes wait 30 seconds for that so I think it's kind of settled right now and for half of my face, I will use the new uh, Bonnie Smoke Matte Foundation and the other half I will use the original formula. Both I will use a brush to apply them. So for this side, for the right side, I will be using the matte foundation and let's see how it goes. I will shake the bottle first. So like the old formula, the original formula, the Born This Way Matte doesn't have any oil in their foundation so that it will be oil free but in addition to being oil free it is a matte formula which the first original formula isn't a lot of people find it really oily and very difficult to wear and i don't find that usually i really like that foundation it works a lot of the time for me but let's see how the improved matte formula works so it claims to be oil controlling waterproof and transfer resistant big claims so so this is the foundation so it's super liquidy and it's really light in compared to what I used to wear so I'll use a flat brush to paint this on <laughs> Oh, 
sponge to finish up the look I will use this side of the sponge I only wet one sponge so um <laughs> super dry it dries down really nicely but I think it's a bit too light for me which um, if I apply it much thinner then it won't be like much of a problem but I didn't really apply a thin layer of this so that's that coverage wise this is like impeccable again it really did cover up a lot of the redness on the skin but the problem is um, for like the nose area, it's a bit wonky room. But this is like one of the rare situations that I really think that it's really mad the foundation, but I still see a lot of glow. Pretty nice. So for the next step, we will use the original bond this way in the shade Natural Beige. <laughs> oh, it'll be funny. So this is how it looks. It's way less liquidy, but um. <laughs> definitely see a difference between porcelain and natural beige like even more like in real life <laughs> takes a bit more like uh, effort to blend this out like maybe it's because of this kind of brush they might leave a bit of like stroke there but for the um, original one this way it doesn't leave as much of like a streak on there because maybe the formula it's a bit wetter <laughs> So you can see there's a clear difference between this um, porcelain shade and the natural beige shade. I think the natural beige shade still meet that uh, like still has uh, even though the sales told me that oh well, I don't think it look that dark, but I think that um, natural beige definitely is my shade more of my shade it just matches my neck a little better like but once it sets down I think there's still a bit of like shade difference but um 
there's a bit more warmth this side than this side. Well, I will have to bronze up to like match up both sides. So we will like put on some concealer using the Tarte concealer, and then I will use like a brush to like blend this out. Like there's a tiny bit of difference for like the finish where I think the Born This Way original finish it's a bit more natural, less matte than this side and I can definitely feel the difference. It's like a bit more dry this side than this side. So we will use some setting powder to set the face down. I will be using the Fit Me um, loose powder in the shade Fairlight. This is shade number 10, slightly darker than um, the shade number 5, but I think uh, I will be using this shade today. So I lightly glaze a bit of powder onto the skin and we will now bronze up the face just a bit so I'll be using the um, damn girl no snow let it snow girl uh, palette their face palette and we will be using the um, bronzer to bronze up the face To finish the look, we'll just um, brush out the brows just slightly so that there won't be a lot of like foundation stuck in the brows. Let's see how they look after like a fresh layer of powder and just finishing the face. So close up, they don't have a lot of different but I can feel that this side is drier than um, the side uh, the, than the original Born This Way side but they both feel really like much there isn't a lot of difference except for the middle line I think the matte side lay a little bit better on with like in the chin area so I will come back. Let's see. Let's see what the time is. So it's twelve. So it's twelve. I'll be sitting around for a bit to see how the foundation look, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now. It's 2.48. I think the hot weather says a lot about the foundation and I can definitely feel the foundation right now. But let's see how it performs. So it's nearly 3 hours of wear and I will use my mirror to see how it looks. For starters, I can see if, like you can see in the room of like this side my right side it has a bit of foundation like the uh this is the side where it's the new one this is the old one like the foundation didn't really last so it's not really like what it claims to be um transfer resistant to face well, but this is like my first try with the foundation and I pretty much know how to use this but this is like a very new foundation so that's maybe like the reason why it didn't work out. Clearly, the Born This Way side is way shinier than the, um, the, the newer matte version of this. I have a lot more like luminosity over here than on this side. And I think, I do think I like the coverage on this side, the matte side, a bit more. I think where my glasses weren't, they're doing really great. 
but where my glasses are, it's not doing really hot. So glasses wearers, maybe you don't want to try this. But let's see how oily this side, the matte side gets. So there's not a lot of oil. I don't think there's a lot. It's really doing its job for the forehead. And after I blot, I can clearly see like the the shine in real life. It's gone. Like the shine isn't there anymore, and it looks like a fresh applied um, kind of like uh, foundation. So let's see how does around the nose and like cheek area this is like where my I'm like the oiliest so when I try to blot there there there, there really isn't any oil coming like off there the foundation didn't really patch off there but I think when the glass is just continuously rubbing this place, it came off. But I don't feel really oily using this foundation. It definitely is, it feels drier. It feels matte, it feels nicer on this side than on this side. So let's see how Born This Way does like under a similar condition. So I will blot my forehead. I think there's like a bigger blot of like oil overall on the forehead and it, it's just shinier than the matte side that's just how the foundation works the Born This Way um, uh, original foundation it's really kind of like natural finish glossier finish let's see on the side Like it's definitely, I I understand what they meant by like it's like transfer free when they talk about like the matte foundation because when I blot on this side, there's a bunch of foundation came onto the sheets. So when you use the foundation, when maybe you just accidentally pressed onto something or you just tends to rub. Maybe this side, like the matte foundation, will hold up a little bit better when you maybe you blot, maybe you use powder again, you repowder. This side may hold up better than this side, the original Born This Way. However, it, you can still see like the mark where my um, glasses were. Still, there's like foundation transferring from the original bond this way. So after blotting, um, if I'm gonna like go out again, I would definitely have to like reapply this uh, foundation on where like my bare skin is. This here. Like where my bare skin is here, like it's an easy fix. Don't that's an easy fix, but it's not as like resist transfer resistant as you think. It transferred to my glasses, but it's constantly touching there. But when I'm blotting, nothing comes out. Like for like the cheek area, it looks a little bit drier overall. 
but it has a very similar kind of like blurring texture I think on the chin area on the mouth area where it really shows how great this is uh, this is much um, a lot lot a lot more like came off but whereas this side not a lot came off and at the same time I can feel I can see there's a lot more oil on this side than on this side so in general I think this is a really great foundation glasses back on let's continue on like some conclusion overall this doesn't transfer to the glasses but it does transfer to like blocking oil sheets this transfer to glasses the rim when you touch it constantly it irritates the foundation but it doesn't block onto the blotting sheets this feels matte it, it's really matte so when you it's really matte so when you apply this it feels dry the finish shape the finish it's more matte than the original one does it feel comfortable? I think it still feels really comfortable even a little bit more comfortable than like the original one because because the original one when I'm wearing in a dry climate it holds on a bit better because it has a bit more moisture in it so that it doesn't just um, evaporate or it doesn't make me look super dry super cakey but as for where you live for example i'm in hong kong right now the matte foundation is superior than the original one in the sense where in a very hot humid environment like when i'm filming when i'm under the heat this side will last a lot better and i think if you wear a mask the rim there will be found a bunch of foundation will come off like where like the, the mask like tucks onto but whereas like the mask just slightly scraped like the inner side of the mask a lot of the foundation from Born This Way original foundation this one will come off whereas this one should not come off I don't really know will it come off like I have to wear a mask to test this but um maybe I would do one in the future but for now the conclusion is this one it's just like the original one with a lot more lasting power or lot this is just like the original one where it is very beautiful the finish is really really great the shade range only six now in Hong Kong it's a little bit disappointing but uh, on camera it doesn't have a lot of difference it's just a bit more light to this side whereas this side is clearly rich in color but I think um, this side still match me if I apply it to the whole face with a bit of bronzer it won't be very 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 noticeable but I have like bronze my uh, jawline where I try to match my neck a bit but I think it's, it's what they told me is that this one isn't like a direct translate to like the Too Faced shade the sales told me I hope it's like a direct translation so what would I pick up if I have to buy these again for the matte foundation I think that the original peach matte foundation it the lasting power is really great I like the finish of that I would prefer a matte foundation from that range but as for like a, a everyday kind of like a foundation I think this one is really great with like the coverage it gives me with the um, transfer thing where it didn't transfer and also it gives a lot more glow a lot more luminosity than the peach one Whereas the OG one, I still really, really, really like it. I still really, really love this. This one is like 
the natural finish queen king everything about this foundation it's just a dream and a bottle for me but i think this one practically beats this one because of the math even though i like a dewy finish this one what I would say is I have a lot more experience with this one so I know how to use this one but for first try now that I know the glasses situation I know how to use this foundation so this is the first impression for this like foundation I hope you like this video comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos I will see you soon. Bye for now.